Janet Monroe, a gifted British actress, experienced early success and personal challenges, but her life was tragically cut short at a young age. Her enchanting performances in films like Darby O'Gill and The Little People and Swiss Family Robinson solidified her status as a beloved actress. However, personal struggles, including battles with alcoholism and health issues, cast a shadow over her later years. Her untimely death at age 38 serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by people in the entertainment industry. Even as her early career achievements continue to be celebrated and remembered by fans of classic cinema. Join Facts First as we present the real cause of Janet Monroe's tragic death at 38 years old. Early Life Janet Monroe was a talented British actress known for her contributions to film and television during the mid 20th century. Born as Janet Nielsen Horsburgh on September 28, 1934, in Blackpool, England, she grew up in a family with a strong connection to the entertainment industry. Her father, Alex Monroe, was a renowned stage actor, and her mother, Phyllis Smale, was a ballet dancer. Her early life was marked by exposure to the world of theater and film. She received her education at Sherborne Girls' School, where she developed a passion for acting. Her first taste of the entertainment industry came with her appearance in various stage productions, including a role in the West End production of The Happiest Days of Your Life. Her talent and dedication quickly caught the attention of casting directors and producers, paving the way for her transition into the world of film and television. In the late 50s, Monroe made her debut in British cinema with a supporting role in the 1957 film The Young and the Guilty. This marked the beginning of her film career, and she soon gained recognition for her acting prowess. But it was her role in the classic Disney film Darby O'Gill and the Little People in 1959 that catapulted her to international fame. In the film, she played the lead female role, Katie O'Gill, opposite Sean Connery, and her performance was well-received by both audiences and critics. Following the success of Darby O'Gill and the Little People, Monroe continued to work in the entertainment industry, appearing in several other films and TV productions throughout the 60s. Some of her other notable works include Swiss Family Robinson in 1960, The Day the Earth Caught Fire in 61, and Life for Ruth in 62. Her career was on an upward trajectory during this period, and she became a recognized and beloved actress in both Britain and the United States. But personal challenges, including health issues and struggles with alcoholism, began to impact her career in the late 60s. Career Highlights her career began to blossom in the late 50s, and she made a name for herself with that series of noteworthy roles. Her breakthrough came in Darby O'Gill and the Little People, and her performance alongside Sean Connery garnered critical acclaim. It solidified her status as a Disney star, making her a beloved figure among audiences of all ages. She played Roberta in Swiss Family Robinson, a resourceful and adventurous young woman who captivated audiences with charm and resilience. In The Day the Earth Caught Fire, her performance showcased her ability to excel in dramatic roles and earned her praise from critics and fans alike. In Life for Ruth, she portrayed a mother fighting for her daughter's life in a gripping and emotional drama. Her performance further solidified her reputation as a talented actress capable of handling complex and emotional roles. Throughout the 1960s, Janet Monroe made notable appearances on British television adding to her list of accomplishments. Her work in series like The Human Jungle and Danger Man expanded her presence in the entertainment industry and demonstrated her ability to adapt to different mediums. Personal life Her personal life was marked by both happiness and significant challenges. She embarked on two marriages during her lifetime. The first was to British actor Tony Wright in 1956. Their marriage attracted substantial media attention due to their status as rising stars in the industry. The couple had one child together, a daughter named Sally, born in 1958. Unfortunately, their union ended in divorce in 59, marking the end of their brief but highly publicized marriage. Janet Monroe's second marriage was to British actor Ian Hendry in 1963. This relationship played a significant role in her personal life, and it was marked by both moments of happiness and of challenges. Janet and Hendry had two children together during their marriage, a son named Corey and a daughter named Joanna. 
The addition of children to their family was undoubtedly a source of joy for the couple and marked a significant chapter in their lives. However, their relationship faced its share of difficulties. Monroe's struggles with alcoholism were a prominent issue in their marriage, and it's widely acknowledged that her addiction had a detrimental impact on both her personal life and career. The pressures of Hendry's own career in the competitive world of acting may have also added stress to the relationship. Despite these challenges, Janet and Ian remained married for several years before ultimately divorcing in 1971. The reasons for the divorce were undoubtedly complex, influenced by personal struggles and the demands of their careers. Her Later Years and Death Janet Monroe's later years were marked by personal challenges, including health issues and struggles with alcoholism, which significantly impacted her career and overall well-being. As she navigated these difficulties, her presence in the entertainment industry waned, and her career trajectory took a downturn. In the years leading up to her death, Janet Monroe's acting career slowed down considerably compared to her earlier success in the 1950s and 60s. Her personal struggles, particularly her battle with alcoholism, contributed to her reduced visibility in the public eye. Despite her talent and early accomplishments in film and television, her personal challenges had a profound effect on her professional life. Tragically, on December 6, 1972, Janet Monroe's life was cut short when she passed away at the young age of 38. The cause of her death was a heart attack, which was attributed to her struggles with alcoholism and the toll it had taken on her health. Janet Monroe's untimely death was a somber reminder of the devastating impact of addiction on people and their loved ones. It was a loss felt deeply by her family, friends, and fans who had admired her talent and followed her career. Monroe's passing served as a poignant reminder of the importance of addressing and seeking help for substance abuse issues, even for those in the public eye, who often grapple with their challenges privately. While her later years were marred by personal difficulties, Janet Monroe is primarily remembered for her early career achievements and her enduring legacy in the world of entertainment, despite the tragic circumstances of her passing. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Janet? Do you think she would have gone on to a much bigger career had she not died so young? Let us know in the comments section below.